So, this is what's happening. That's not good. Hey, thanks for that sub there. <laughs> Gets me every time. It's not fluid. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It sounds horrible, though. Yeah, you can't hear it. But, like, right there, if I push forward, up two bus. You see those jumps? That's me barely pushing it, and when it finally breaks free, I have to stop the forward motion. And it used to recenter. See, if I pull it back about halfway backwards, it's fine. If I push it forward, it's screwed. Side, just as screwed. It's pretty bad. Like, this side's okay. So it's kind of like this range right here is okay. It centers. This side over here, completely screwed. So I already took it apart one time, and I used this. Uh, and apparently it's the wrong one. There you go. I sanded it down, did the whole nine yards to it. Wrong one. What I was supposed to use is this. So we're using this this time. Let us begin. Our <laughs> guests make fun. Piece one. I guess I can talk through what I'm doing. I have this extension. It has this awesome cable. Don't need that right now. We gotta take this off. You gotta screw this piece off and set that aside. This is the scary part for me because when I twist this, it was on so tight before, I can feel the gimbal. I can feel this piece twisting in here. And I don't think it's supposed to do that. Okay. I feel like that piece is just going to snap off. So that piece is off. And now we have this. So a lot of the problem that I saw before, and see this is, see how not fluid that is? Whereas this way, a little bit more fluid, it's still pretty pretty. But right on the inside of here, or on the inside of here, there's a uh, O-ring and mine had completely come unglued. So I had to remove it and I don't have a replacement. I'm guessing it's supposed to keep dirt out. But mine will probably get dirty more often now, but I guess that's okay. Trade off is hopefully this problem is solved. We shall see. Should have brought a cup for all these damn screws. Might have to go grab one real quick. Don't think I have one readily available that doesn't have beer in it. I'll be right back. sound no man wants to hear. I've heard this stuff is like hell to get off your hands afterwards. So, precautions. All right. Let's continue. If I remember correctly, this is where the spring 
prostate exam. <laughs> no, thank you. So these four screws here hold this piece down uh, and the spring is going to push it back up. So when you release these last two screws, you want to put a little bit of pressure. Or a lot of bit of pressure. Especially this last one. And the reason is, is if you don't put the pressure and it pushes it up, you actually strip the screw. And that is something we don't want. Yeah, you know, it wants to come back up. Boom. Okay. That piece off. Here's the spring. I'm not entirely sure why the spring has to have the gel on it or the grease. It doesn't quite make a ton of sense to me. It literally just goes up and down. It really doesn't really touch any parts, so kind of strange, but it had it on it, so we'll put it back on it. And on this, I don't know if you guys can see on the inside here, let's see if I can get a good angle. There you go. You see that that little uh, rubber stop there? You got to be careful. The glue can come off. I actually have one that that happened to. So that one's good. That one's good. This one you can see is sideways. And I couldn't get it to go back on the right way because of the grease. So I just left it sideways. But I'm guessing it's probably not the best thing. But whatever I'm there okay now I gotta remember this part and this old grease off of here which isn't even that old it's about a week old and barely used because the stiction was so bad they still have a yellow sticker on, only on one piece, but it doesn't matter because this piece just spins. I already put it on backwards once. In the end, I know this is the forward spot. I don't really need the yellow sticker. The yellow sticker would just be on reverse, right? And then one on, on the joystick, but I don't have it on there either. I know this is forward. I think this comes off, yep. What is the grease use? It didn't focus when you showed it? Okay, I'll show it in a second. Um, I'm going to take these springs off. I want to try to get a lot of this old grease off, so bear with me here. Um, the grease you want to use is this. If it focuses. Hello, good here. I want to focus. You can do it. Anyway, Niogel 767A. I got it off Amazon. Uh, it was not super cheap. $32, maybe that's what it was. It was not cheap. And I had originally bought this one, but it's, I looked up, uh, I looked up online, the difference between this and that is like water versus uh, pudding. <laughs> the next step is to take these uh, electronic components out, these two white connectors, slowly pull, they pop out. And then I want to take this circuit board off. And there are two screws. One here. And then one caddy corner from it. We want to remember that when we put these back in, 
the small screws go on the circuit board and the big screws go on the base of the joystick. Rounds. All right. Now that it's gonna come off. The one thing you wanna be careful of is this connector here. Um, I saw online and read a couple posts where this, because this is so tight on here, uh, and the location of it, like these are held in by, by glue. This one's literally just soldered onto the corner because it's a ground. This can come loose. You don't want that if you can avoid it. But it's also on the corner. Should be easy to solder back in. The self-tapping screws, yeah, they go right back in the board. I lost my music. Where'd my music go? Have any mods in here? Admiral, can you do a skip song? I would appreciate that. Okay, so now we got the board out. I'm gonna stick that over here. Gotta get these out of the way. Now you get an X55. We'll hold that off over here. Next, we gotta take this, these two screws out. All right. Now that we got those out, this piece should slide out. That. There you go. That side. That's it. Next part, just pull. And what you're gonna be careful of is not to pull too hard because you're not taking this board off. This board is gonna have the wires that go down, the single wire that goes down. Uh, you wanna, wanna position it so it can go down so you have room to play with it, but it is not going to go all the way down. It will not come off. Now, all this goopy shit off of here. I know this isn't exciting, as exciting as playing DCS, but I thought maybe some of you could take away some stuff from it, so. And if not, you guys get to see me lube my stick. So to speak. Okay. Now this is the shitty part. So, on here, I don't know if you can see that very well. Hard to see. But right here, the little plug. And on the opposite side, there's one as well. Kind of see it there. That holds this gimbal in. And this one obviously goes on the top of here. Hitch and roll. So to get these out, it was a pain in the ass. And I ended up using some needle nose pliers. You want to be careful of this wire. You don't want to pinch the wire because for obvious reasons. So I pull it off to the side. Stick these in this way. And then you're going to want to push and put your fingers there so that you catch this. You don't want it to fly across across the room. Lose it. The butt plug. <laughs> What's up, Coltrane? How's it going, man? There's one. We'll clean that off. And now we turn the sucker around. And do the same on the other side. I did find that one of these was a lot harder than the other. Actually, you know what? I missed a step. I want to take this off the bottom. I 
do I want to know? I'll tell you, this is much more enjoyable talking to you guys and doing this for two hours or whatever it takes me. And last time by myself for th three hours. That wasn't as much fun. Okay. I got that out. A little better angle here. So again, all the way through. And push. Had this trouble last time too. This one was much harder to get out. There we go. There's that piece there. Now once that's out, you stick your finger through the bottom here. You should be able to pop that gimbal out. Like that. And again, be careful the wires that are attached. You do not want to sever the wire if possible. Unless you're really good at soldering and you have some skills. Let's get all this goopy crap off the inside here. That wasn't so bad. That's it. That's it for the disassembly. Not that bad. So I'd already I already sanded this. But if you guys have this, you're gonna want to sand it. Basically, it's gonna be really hard to show you. Right there, you can kind of see how it goes from glossy to a little bit matte right there. I sanded that seam down. There was a seam that went across here from the molding. And then on this side, same thing. And it's flat now, I can't feel it at all. I mean, it's not flat, it's rounded. But I can't feel the molding. And I also sanded right here, around where the plug goes in. And again, on the other side, I did not sand inside. Do not sand inside. Just on the outside. If you sand on the inside, you will be widening the hole and then the plug will be loose. And if you do that, you're going to have a bad day. I guarantee that. And then on here, same thing. There's a, all the way around the bottom here. Of, uh, pretty hard to see. You can kind of see it. You can kind of see it here. It goes along the edge here. And it goes all the way around. So I sanded that down just a little bit. And I used uh, 400, 800, 1200 grit in that order. And then again, around the, around the circular edges here, around these, and on the other side. And then there was this. I don't think I sanded anything on the end of here. If you, have, if you feel in here and you feel something like a, a molding, oh, maybe there was a little molding here. I don't remember this part being sanded, but this is pretty smooth, so I didn't worry, really worry about it. And then on these, I sanded the outer edge, and I kind of put sandpaper, you know, on a flat surface and just kind of rotated around like this to sand off just a little bit of the outside. I missed the start of the stream. Can you put it back together so I can see the problem? Yes. Uh, yeah, let me let me do that real quick. Let me put it back together and I'll show you. Proctologist Jabbers is back. Sort of. We got all the old, everything is apart. We got the grease out for the most part. There's little bits of it in there. It's hard to get all out, all of it out, you know? Yeah, this stuff, holy cow, man, what a difference. It's so thick, it's like tearing the buzz off of here. Yeah, this is stupid, man. I feel like I, I need to cut more of the tip off, so to speak. This is ridiculous. Look at, I can't get that off now. It's gel, it's grease. That's how strong the grease is. Still there. Jeez. Good luck getting this crap off your skin. Wear gloves if you do this. Oh yeah, there we go. That is much better. I don't know how much you're supposed to put. I'm gonna put a lot. I figure the excess will just overflow, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
It's almost like glue, man. In reality, someone played a prank on me and I bought glue. I'm gonna lube my gun <laughs> so it's pouring out the parts. <laughs> I'll throw a little bit more in there for good measure. that makes the uh, the cloth covers too monster tech okay yeah the little vinyl thing yeah I was thinking about getting that because uh, on the inside of here oh, I gotta clean that on the inside of here there's supposed to be a bushing on the inside or not a bushing a, 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 an o-ring and mine was not good shape so I, I had to remove it I'm guessing it's Subject to more dirt now. There's no reason to put that much grease. You know what? I watched a couple YouTube videos and uh, they said otherwise for this specific thing, but you know, what can go wrong? I take it apart and pull off some of the grease, right? That sucker was coming apart there. I have to use my finger. Finger in there. All right, that's all I'm gonna do on that. Take that back in and see. I'll be honest, man, I don't know what I'm doing. You got better tips? Starry, please let me know. I've done this before, especially. I'm just rubbing grease all over this ball at the moment. Like cotton fibers. Yeah, I'm kind of sort of realizing that right now, actually. I pulled a bunch of them off from that last little bit there. This shit is sticky, man. I think it's supposed to be sticky. How am I misaligned here? How am I misaligned? Oh right, there's a notch. Yeah, there we go. So there's a little notch cut out. It's gonna be hard to show on camera, but there's a little notch cut out on the top. You gotta align it so it's pointed up. Knife out of here. Change gloves already, this is ridiculous. I really don't want this stuff on my hands because I'm going to test this afterwards and I don't want it all over the joystick as well. That would be awful. And now my hands are all sweaty. I can't get the goddamn gloves on. Gross. The doctors do this shit all day. They probably have better gloves. Looks like a flashlight. Maybe it is. Yeah, it's silicone non-conductive, non yeah. So, Cristari, I bought the wrong one initially, which is still the same silicone non-conductive non grease, but it was too viscous. There's this here. 760G Biogel. Uh, synthetic hydrocarbon grease. I thought this would be fine, but it, it wasn't. And so I bought this other stuff. This is the uh, 767A Biogel. And uh, it is totally different. It's stickier, actually, but much heavier. And I think that's why it's stickier.
But again, I'm going off of people who've done this before. I'm going off their tips and the things that they used. And not just one person, but multiple. Uh, yeah, it still had stiction problems and, and actually worse. And I kind of realized after I was putting it back together it, it, and it, the problem happened, it dawned on me, because I had no idea what I'm doing, that the, that grease was actually not as thick as the grease that was in the Warthog when I basically tore it apart for the first time. It was a pink, it was a pink color grease and it was much thicker, I'd say maybe two times thicker than the one here, whereas this other stuff's like eight times thicker. Okay. So, when you put this together, something I found out last time at almost too late. There is... These wires run on one side of whatever this thing's called. I forget the name offhand right now, but these run, are, these run on one side, and if you look at the inside of the gimbal that you're gonna fun, funnel it through, there's a notch cut out, and for me it's on this side, so I know that this goes up here on this side. Oh. We forgot the other plug. My finger in there, find the uh, little notch, and the little notch goes in the top. And presto. Those are both in there. Oh, this is nice. Oh man, I could, okay. This is 100% different than the last time I had this problem. Okay, when I took this apart before, this was sticky right here. When I put it back together, this was sticky, and it was pretty bad. This is amazing. I can barely look at this. Look at how smooth that is. It's so smooth now. This is a life changer right here, man. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm impressed. I can already tell this is this is going to work. Look, I barely, I'm barely touching that. This is great. Ha, I am excited now. Not in that way. Maybe in that way. All right, let's make sure this is on the right side. Notches on that side, that in there, funnel it down. And carefully. Here we go. Had to line it up. All right. Wow. Look at it, it doesn't stick at all. If you guys rewind the stream, I couldn't do this before at all. Faster? That is impressive. All right, let's start putting this back together. Excited to try this out now. Spend 30. Dude, that is amazing. Here's the little turn, 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 turn. Okay, so basically, you gotta line up the little, the little uh, cutout here. There's a little cutout in the bottom of the base here. And then we gotta remember where this board goes. So this only goes in one way. Correct? Correct. So it goes in like that. Screws, I believe. Thanks, Gorlo. How you doing? How was your stream, bud? So when you put this back together, the tightness you want on most of these screws is just hand tight. I mean, don't torque them down. A lot of these parts are plastic. You're going to strip stuff. 
The next thing you want to do is we took two screws out that were here and two that were here. One of them goes under the board, so we need to figure out where the board's going to go first. So one of the ways I can remember is this cord fits in here, the board goes on the other. And if you want um, another way to remember where things are is just mark it. Get a get like a, a silver sharpie or something and you can mark a line on here and a line on here or wherever you want to make sure you remember where things were. You can do that with everything. Before you take it off, put a notch on one piece and then on the other and then you can help you line everything up. The other way you can do it is take pictures. Just snap a picture, take something off. Snap a picture, take something off. Um, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm pretty comfortable with tearing stuff apart and remembering how to put it back together. I've also already done this once. The little screws go in the board. Hard to do with really slippery, greasy hands, but... And magnetic screwdrivers. Fuck, I hate magnetic screwdrivers. Oh, we fucked up. All right. This is what happens when you pay attention, when you don't pay attention. Before you put the board on, we gotta put the screws in to hold the gimbal into place on the base. We forgot a step. That's okay. Just practice is all. There we go. This one's gotta go in. Then we'll put the one across from it. Put the board on and then we'll put the other two back in. And again, don't over torque this stuff. Look, finger tight. It doesn't turn anymore. Good enough, man. It's it's held into a plastic base. You over torque it, you strip the plastic, you're never gonna fix that again. Not without buying new parts. Don't go crazy. I'm excited about this, man. I can't believe how... I mean, that is smooth. Oh, man. This stuff... <clears throat> night and day difference. What kind of glove you're using for this? Uh, proctologist recommended... No, just kidding. They're just these. They're just garage gloves. Oh, look at that, man. Look at that. I could not even move this before. Oh, it's so awesome. Okay. Put our other two screws in. And remember these two screws have the ground connectors. We're gonna have to connect the grounds to them. Wow, see the gimbal? The gimbal moves so well now that I can't even screw these in properly. You can see I put the, I put the ground connector on there. Look at that, I just put a little bit of pressure, the gimbal moves. Oh, this is beautiful, man. It's <clears throat> not going to be as stiff. Um, well, it'll be as stiff as this spring. So this is the stiffness, right? This thing makes it stiff. <clears throat> but it was, the stiction was so bad before, I couldn't, I'm just gonna put my finger here to hold it, but I, I am barely pushing and it comes down now. I couldn't do that before. I had to give it some actual umph, you know, some shoulder force. Now I'm just doing this to hold it in place. This just moves. I mean, you can see I'm gonna barely push on it with this. Look at that. Amazing. All right, so two connectors, one big, one small. You can't fuck that up. I guess you could. If you do, that's your fault. Done. Done and done. Line this up. There we go. So far so good. Look at this. If you watch the beginning of the stream, I couldn't do that before. I had to actually physically give it the mump. Let's all lube our sticks together. Man. That's great. <clears throat> I'm always leaving my stick. This this one got a little loose. 
This is just for the post. Any other ones loose? Good. This one good. Little loose. Little loosey goosey. These are the posts that hold down the spring. So we want those to be nice and solid. Look. <laughs> Stuff's annoying, man. Don't get that on your skin. Oh, we're gonna need this. Okay. Now, so this had these springs had grease on them. Uh, so I guess we'll re-grease them as much as we can here. I guess I could just put it on the posts. Maybe better. It's almost deceiving. This stuff is so sticky. It feels like it shouldn't be good. Grease. The spring's sticky? Now they are. Like this. Here we go. Alright, so now let's grease the inside. So right here, there used to be an O-ring right here. I've thrown mine away. Mine, it's supposed to be glued on. And mine was so messed up that it, it, it couldn't even put it back in. It was all warped and bent, so it wouldn't actually stick. So I just took it out. Downside being I'll get dirt in here, but I think that's okay because it'll just get on here and it won't get up into here so easily. Um, and somebody was saying you get a piece of cardboard, you can cover it. Maybe I'll do something like that, but... Go ahead and put some grease on here. Sufficiently greased. Alright, let's put this on. Do no, probably. Okay. That on there. So much better. Spring goes on here. So the spring was greased before, and I don't know if I care so much to grease the spring, but go ahead and do that. Look at Stephen Cox on YouTube, the mechanic, but there's a kit he reviews where you can purchase, it has a bunch of O-ring diameters that you cut to length. Adhesive July, oh, that's cool. Yeah, if I, ever, if I ever tear it apart again, I might look into that, especially if I have to tear it apart. I mean, I'm pretty comfortable tearing this apart. This is the second time I've done it in literally two weeks. Uh, if I have to tear it apart, I'll do that. Especially if the problem seems to be caused by actual dirt, but my, I don't know how long the O-ring for me was bad. It could have been bad for a while, and I just didn't know. Maybe that's what caused this problem. I don't know. It's gonna. We'll we'll see. For now, I'm not gonna take it apart though. The arrow. Now that I get grease all over the outside of this, wonderful. Thought that one through, didn't we? Grease so good it works like glue. I don't. I might. I probably do. Can confirm we'll never take apart my Warhawk. <clears throat> Here's your sense of adventure. So the if you still have this, it doesn't really matter where this goes. It's gonna line up with these circles here. <clears throat> you can see the other one over here. <coughs> um, but if you want to put it back to normal, this goes opposite of the power cord. USB cable. Nope. 
then this sucker up black side on the top I'm gonna push it down and it's gonna line up with those posts and when you put the screws in remember you're gonna want to hold it down probably till you get two of them in as you will strip the threads otherwise almost got away from me there give it a little muscle Probably sounds gross. There you go. Hold it down with the other hand, get the other screw across from it. Stick it on there. Remember, don't over torque these. There you go. A sense of adventure left my soul a long time ago. I've had much bad luck. I already dropped my stick and broke the fucking trim hat. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. There you go. I think that's it. Get off some of this excess grease. Okay. Try this out. Doesn't even take it off. Impressive shit, man. You could probably dunk this whole joystick in alcohol and be fine. Just takes a few. Just takes a good little rub, you know. Give it a little love. Just just requires a little little extra love. All right. Next step. Extension. Nope. Cable first. Like night and day difference. So before I could push it right here and let go, and it would not snap back. I guess it was there. That would not happen before. Yeah, it wouldn't have done that before. It actually follows the spring. That's actually pretty funny. Spring coil. I forgot this metal cap. But that's okay. We'll do that right now real fast since it doesn't require too much. Forgot I stuck that on the ground. Waiting for me to drop the cup? No. No dropping of the cup. We're almost there. We're almost there. A much more enjoyable two hours getting to talk to you guys though and do this did three the other time three hours it took me to sand it do the 400 the 800 extra parts assemblies for <laughs> I think uh, 
I always think of when I like take something apart. So like, I used to do computer repair. Tarkov, yeah, Tarkov, man, Tarkov's in a bad state. They need to fix the netcode before I play it again. And the AI. I used to, so I used to fix computers, and I used to fix laptops, tear them apart, put new hard drives, and all that stuff. Some of the laptops, you know, require you to take the whole fucking thing apart just to put a hard drive in. So I, uh, I would always end up with extra screws. And I used to, I used to call that an engineering flaw, because they could have saved themselves, you know, two screws, whatever that is, half a penny, times hundred thousand, you know, could have saved themselves some cash. They didn't do it, so you know. This off a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now that that's all together, that on the floor. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Let's see how the A10 feels. Oh. We gotta plug it in. <laughs> Check it out. Well, it works. Look at that. Full range. There had to be an instant of severe... No. I remembered I didn't put, the wire was on my foot. I was good. I did that last time. It dawned on me right away. Oh man, it is so good. Wow. Formation flying, everything's gonna be so much better. It's 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 so smooth. It's more smooth than I remember it when I first got it. That's how good it feels. So before it would snap back really fast and it would kind of do this like teetering thing when it got to center. So it'd be here, then kind of teeter like this. And now it doesn't do that. It just snaps right into center. It doesn't have the same pushback on my hand which i actually like i don't really care for it pushing back real hard on my hand this isn't a doesn't need to do that um you know it still it still kind of has it there you can see the front's not so bad i think it depends on the position with the spring you can kind of see there that's what it kind of would used to do and it's probably because on this side the spring has the coil ending so it's a little bit stronger. I only say that because in certain positions it looks like it's circling that way. But all in all, man, I'm I'm really happy with it. I don't I don't think I'm tearing it apart again anytime soon. I, it it's working really well. It's I mean it is it is so smooth. I couldn't do that before. So if, if I did it before, I get to here and it would stick and I would have to give it pressure. Even with the weight of the extension, I would have to give it pressure. And I didn't I don't have to do that anymore. I'm so happy with this. Or gay porn, yeah. 